In this short video, we are going to show you how to use the post analysis commands icon in order to control the level of output after an analysis is performed. To invoke one of these commands, you're going to go to your analysis page in your workflow page control area. And then you're going to go up to your ribbon toolbar. We're going to select the analysis and design tab, followed by the post analysis commands icon. Now for this particular exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this icon in order to add a load list to my model. If I were to take a look, I have a perform analysis command followed immediately by some steel design check information or commands. Now what I want to do for this particular model is I want to perform the steel design just on my load combinations, not on all of my defined load cases. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the location where I want to insert my new command. So I'm going to highlight my perform analysis command. And I'm already in my post analysis print dialog. And then I'm going to click on my define commands button. Now through this dialog, we are able to um, include several pieces of analysis results into your model, such as your joint displacements, support reactions, or member forces. Now for this particular model, I want to use the load list command. Now whenever you invoke a load list command, basically any commands that follow that load list will only use the loads in, within that load list until you reissue another load list command. Now I've set my cursor location to be right after perform analysis. So I'm going to make sure my after current checkbox is selected. And then I'm going to identify that I want to perform my steel design on just my load combinations and not my individual load cases. Now, if everything looks good to me, I'm going to go ahead and click the Add button and then click Close. And if I take a look down, I can see that I've controlled what the steel design is going to be occurring for, only those load combinations. Next, I'm going to finish this off by clicking Run Analysis. And then I can review my results. So within my steel design, I'm going to expect my loading conditions to only be limited to those load combinations and not including the individual load cases, and I know that because of my load list command. Now this post print area can also be used for adding a variety of other pieces of information. Say I want to include my center of gravity information, I can do that as well. Um, if I was performing a dynamic seismic analysis, perhaps I want to include my mode shapes. If drift was a critical area for me, I can also include some drift information in my output file. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.